Okay, so that's the kind of a little bit vamped up late summer eye look, I suppose. You know, because it's still the warm colors, but it goes, of course, also for fall and whatever. And today I tried to use these colors like um, with a sticky base, with a cream uh, base, so that I will get out uh, more of the pigment because by themselves they are pretty like kind of acting like pastel colors, even if, you know, they are acting a bit like pastel colors. They, the swatch is really nice, but when you put them on the eye, you know, there's some, sometimes there's eyeshadows that on the eye, suddenly they just seem to be a blur and look like each other. Uh, too much alike. So with those kind of colors, I prefer to use like a white um, cream base or what I did today. And uh, just to get out the true pigment of each of the colors. So they will look a little bit more, you know, distinct or what you call it. I already started with one eye because I wanted to see what uh, base I want to use for this uh, uh, YSL palette in number three. It's pretty like almost pastel color. So you do want to have a a light, almost white base, or a white base. So what I did was, and I already put it here, and it almost, it's creasing already because I didn't put the primer on, which I could have, but I kind of forgot. Never mind. So I, I'm using this um, Ofra wheel today, and I used the, the white one, like down here, it's just the white one, and up here, it's just the white, and in the, in the middle, it's the white one together with this um, Pupa cream eyeshadow that I used before on my videos and this one is drying kind of by itself but if I put this one together with this cream uh, concealer then it becomes really nice also it lightens the color a bit so that's what I did here like inside okay and uh, after that I'm just you know continuing I didn't like uh, blend anything so that's why it looks really like just kind of stuck on that's how I did it so yeah that's exactly how I did it <laughs> So now I'm taking this um, palette and this uh, lightest color for the inner corner. So this one for the inner corner. And I'm just really stamping it in here. And I changed the mirror so this one is really like close to, I have to be really close to it otherwise it's all fuzzy. Like really fuzzy. So that's the gold just uh, in the inner corner like that. And then I will take this color like a peach, light peach, a light peach, like really stamping it on like this, like one third, almost something like that. It's time for this one, this uh, biggest uh, chunk here of color. I will use that one in the crease because it's not that you know, they're not that shimmery. They like have a sheen, but I don't think it, it doesn't disturb me at least, you know. So I will just put this one on the side so I can hold the, it does have some sheen, but you know, I don't really care. I'm gonna go over it here anyways with something matte, so, you know. Okay, now I'm taking this uh, bronzy color here that one and I will put that one on the lid you know here so the same way I put uh, those two I'm continuing with this one on the lid just stamping on because they so to blend them it's so simple when they're so close to each other in their um, strength of color or whatever you want to call it so you can just, just go really softly in between when you blend them with one of the colors and that's it. The, the color that you want to be dominant in the look, you can just go in between with that one and that's kind of it. Now we take the middle color here, which is kind of a plummy brown actually. And it's uh, I'm stamping this one first in here too, in the other corner. And then I will take it inside the crease too, in the beginning of the crease like that. To darken it so I'm just cleaning up this uh, brush on one of those uh, microfiber fabrics or whatever you call them and now then to, to make uh, this kind of line that you can see it's not really a line anymore but I'm taking this lighter color first 
just tapping it in between them that's all just like that you don't really need anything more than that and then in between these two I probably take I think the bronze one because I think I want that one to be a little bit more dominant so the bronze one and I'm taking it the opposite way like this in between those two also here here I seem to have a little bit less of the plum actually and then again I'm cleaning the brush a bit using just the same fluffy brush like that a really simple brush but a soft one and then I'm just blending in the plum a little bit here in the crease I think I will take it a little bit darker so I will add a little bit of the plum just because I don't think it's strong enough for my, you know, puffiness here. I need a little bit more, but it's an excellent color for the crease, this plum one. And as you can see, I'm almost covering the orange here, but never mind. I can add more of that one for the inner part. If I want to. I kind of like those two actually kind of mixed together like that. And I'm taking it pretty high up because I look really puffy in my eyes today, but that was a little bit too high up. <laughs> well, anyways, that was a little bit too much. I got a little bit carried away here. Okay, again, I'm cleaning it up a bit. And now I'm taking again the orange color, the kind of base color that it's in, in this palette, this um, bigger piece here, that one. And just a little bit from here. Not a lot, maybe. Okay, before I do the matte, uh, like transition kind of color over there, I'm taking a bit under the eye, the, just the plum color, I think, because it's the less, uh, the least uh, shiny of them all, you know. So I'm just going under with this plum color. Okay, now for transition kind of color and, uh, you know, um, a matte one. I'm taking from this uh, Smashbox palette and I think I will take a mix of those two. Just up here. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit, you know, pretty high up here. Just to make it matte. And I'm kind of going over a bit too to calm it down a bit all the sheeny and shimmeriness that it's in these, uh, you know, YSL uh, shadows. And I'm cleaning it in between so I won't get, you know, more sheen on this side. That I clean the brush in between and then again I take those two colors and do the same thing, you know, like that. I might as well finish the brow one as well. So I'm taking from this also the matte color here from the middle. And yeah, I know my eyebrows start to look uh, unruly because I'm growing them out a bit more so now when I'm putting you know matte shadows here I can really see that I need to clean them again so I'm using this um, uh, pink nude for the brow one instead since this one it just became too you know too dark so I need this one here I'm using today this uh, Ofra gel liner again because this look definitely needs, needs some kind of a liner on me otherwise it's like yeah, two just floating around over there, so yeah, I'm just going to push it really close to the lashes. I don't want a really big uh, black line or something like that, because then those colors will almost disappear when I open my, my uh, mouth, <laughs> my eyes. Uh, yeah, so I will just do it really close to my blonde lashes again, kind of my usual way to do it and not take it too far inside, not to close up my eyes too much. Okay, this eyeliner thing for me is definitely like very challenging because I kind of have to stare and then I st my eyes start to water. And yeah, and it's a little bit of a guesswork to see where to, you know, where, where, where are those uh, wrinkles going to fall and, and lap over and, you know, because if I do it like this, it's no use that I do any liner at all, actually. I might just, you know, be without the liner there. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm going to finish the line on this side and uh, curl lashes, do mascara, 
clean up the skin and uh, and continue from there probably and let the camera rest a bit so I had some issues here with my foundation but that aside I finished up my eyes with these two liners uh, the black uh, YSL uh, co-liner and the co-liner from Smashbox in this uh, bronzy kind of color so the black one inside and uh, tight lined and uh, oh it's creasing and the bronzed one I didn't set under my eye because I didn't want to touch it anymore under my eyes today actually so I would just do it like this um, and the bronzed one just under the eye I'm continuing with this rose gold from uh, Elizabeth Arden on a soft brush like that and it's so strange because this this mirror is so close that I have to be like two centimeters from it otherwise it's fuzzy for me oh unbelievable since it's a little bit too golden for my taste this um, Elizabeth Arden I'm taking this uh, much lighter um, beige uh, champagne from In Maquillage same brush and just you know go over to make it a bit lighter I'm taking this um, pink uh, trio from Shiseido because it's really like uh, lifting up a bit the complexion I think when it got too dark I'm using just this one inside all the colors it's very light it's kind of like a face powder really so I'm taking it actually all the way down here from the middle just in the middle yeah my skin got really yellow it's like I need it all over my goodness I can't believe it's not the first time I used this I never thought I'd get this yellow ah oh, but I mix it together with the light one okay great so how I forgot that today then okay just trying to brush out or off extra powder here because Yeah, I tried to make it a bit lighter with this Shiseido powder. I'm using this Smashbox um, lip liner. It's uh, more subtle than the one I took first. This one is like uh, a really like everyday kind of lip liner. It doesn't go too pink and too anything. It's really nice. So this one is the old version of the Smashbox uh, lip liners. And you can see that I really loved it. So it's still in use. On it I'm using this uh, Estee Lauder Envy lipstick in 120. That looks too pale. So I wonder if it's enough if I put just a, a gloss like this on from uh, Dior. A bit peachy. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that's the finished uh, look. And I know it's really warm and summery kind of look, but to wrap it up a bit I put uh, like a black liner instead and, and a brown bronze liner under to make it a bit more than just a you know light summer look or something even though we do have summer here still so my nails by the way it's a uh, uh, SE, two SE colors uh, the lighter one is 42 Angora Cardi and the darker one is 45 Soulmate so yeah it looks a bit you know matte already because it's not from today yeah but that's it and um, yeah thanks again for watching and use all your colors uh, and stay well